What do you think is about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What, she's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey, Ben. Hey. Charlie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. I wish it was more than that. Just us guys and Clementine? It's not great. See you. Yeah. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look. We're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. 
It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Don't give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. I can do that. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay. I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Excellent. Good shot. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. There you go. Nice. Yeah, you did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. The whiskey. My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like. You'll get used to it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. He's lived here a while. I hope we're not on this train much longer. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? 
I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there, about whether or not you folks want company. I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Not known for its finish. No kid. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Hey. Yeah.
Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. Doesn't matter a lick to me. Fuck. Just gotta move forward. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody could see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Please, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Please, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... feel good better i'm glad we have a plan and you're a good little shot thanks i guess we should see how far oh shit hold on everybody
we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of him. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Ben's young and stupid, and I think harmless. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. I know. We just have to keep an eye on him. No sweat. It's been rough for everybody down there. I'm sure you can say the same. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. It's empty. Empty. That's what I figured. That's about the only useful thing in here. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. These two are joining us. We'll see about that. Gotta be careful about newcomers, I say. I don't know what it is. I could tell you two are good people. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. 
Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Uh, getting this door open is going to be tough. It might not be that hard. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. Hmm. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. It's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. There's gotta be something useful in here. up good there's some space up there but not much we're lucky I'm so little here we are you okay going over the top of this fence yeah definitely <laughs> go on and grab the keys Clem come on scoot Behind you!
Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! so good no it did not go so good but we're okay everything's okay what's going on I thought I heard a gunshot we're fine we found some walkers you and an eight-year-old versus three of them huh Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. They didn't have much business back then. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now.
Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. Damn it, it's just about done, too. Crap. a fireball if we tried to blast through. All this power and we're still stuck. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and, and exterminate them or something. Oh shit. Walkers, man. You know, sometimes you might see me take care of one because I have to. Don't start thinking they don't horrify me. I'm glad somebody else feels that way. I'm telling you, Lee. If they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. And don't let them get a hold of Glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something. that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. Think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. It's 
son of a bitch, save him! Omid! Fine, Clementine. We're fine. 